right in the day of Christ, but I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send to both you shortly unto you that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek your own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the truth of him, that as a son with a father, he hath served with me in the gospel. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how he will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you the Paphroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, that your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all and was full of heaviness because that he had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick, nigh unto death. But God had mercy on him and not on him only but on me also lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I send him therefore the more carefully that when you see him again, he may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. And seek him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such in reputation. Because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death.